<clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm so excited. Thank you, sister, for that great idea. I'm so, so excited. Okay. You won't believe this. Sorry. It's hot now. I finally made the A charm that I think will work. So then now I'm going to make it triangles and rectangles and everything okay so here is the big hoop that Lauren oh, sorry there sorry that Lauren likes right yeah you can see that okay I wish I could put my mirror up like I had it before so I could see what you see okay so then hello what are we doing go off okay so then I have to I have to either put something over can you see that okay there can you see it against my brownness see it's just round 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 it'll hang down that way okay okay now I don't know but I'm thinking if I take the round slide it against the back and just roll it on around come on one more again there see and I'm gonna put I don't like that through stuff I'm through I'm through with that through stuff so I'm going to bend this one under and put a hook in one. And it better just come on. Roll right off. See? Yeah, I know my nails are too long, you can't see. Anyway, it rolls on and it rolls off just fine. <laughs> if you don't have long nails. <laughs> no, I'm not cutting them. <sighs> then I was experimenting with this one. If I make something el elongated, it's upside down, to where I could put it over... Okay, I'll put it on this side because the hook is going to be on this side. And put it over... The, this notch which is going to be the same size as this and then have it roll down yeah because if I yeah if I make the smaller pliers and have this one under this way yeah it could slide right on yeah what do you think of that hmm mm hmm anyway I made a few other pair of earrings and left them at work because I'm going to do my December show with those. So, ain't no sense in carrying it back and forth, you know? Anyway, how are you guys doing? You have a good day? I would have made my video earlier, but I ran out of, I ran out of batteries. I didn't put new batteries in. So, there you have it. But I am excited. Um, Donna, the lady at the post office you guys saw from the book, well, the lady that I dedicated the book to, my last book to, um, she gave me some good stuff, and of course I left at work, and okay, that's about it. It was a pretty fulfilling day. I made like four pair of earrings, gave two away. Oh, well. <laughs> I am being blessed, so I can bless someone else. Yeah, so... Basically, let's see if I can show you what her other Pam Greer earrings. She loved it, by the way. Okay, so I took this. I made another one of these and put it here. Put a bead on it. Made another one. Put a bead on it. So there's one, two, three of them. So it hung down, like, about down to here. Except I did it with a thinner silver wire. It looked sharp. It looked really sharp. I know. So I'm going to show you the picture of that first one. I'll put it before this one. Well, you would know that because you're watching the video. Sorry. Anywho. <laughs> Whew, 
miracles are happening. I'm getting everything I want. Thank God. So, go be good to yourself. I'm going to reboot this old bucket at some point. And upload my videos. Upload my videos. <sighs> be good to yourself. <laughs> Love you. Thank you for letting me share my joy. And now, I can go get happy. You go get happy. And happy birthday again to my baby cakes, Cody. Go be good. Love ya. <laughs> Bye. See, I made, I think, ten little charms. Sorry. Hang on. Ah. Oh. I'm not going to tell you how I got them on there. Sister will know. Sister will know how I got them on there. I don't want to tell my secret yet. But there's 12 of them. Or, sorry, 10 of them. And they're all different, of course. Because if I don't make the second one as, as soon... I really like that blue one. It's so hodgepodge like me. <laughs> if I don't make the second one right away I just see I just see these two they're totally different this is sorry this is one and here's the other one these two are nowhere alike see this one, and this one. I mean they look similar but you know this one has a little bit more wire anyway so, yeah, I think she'll like it, though. I'm not going to give it to her now until Christmas. But, oops, sorry. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to make her a whole bunch of different ones. And I'm going to practice slowly, like Sister said, my soldering this weekend. I'm going to wait till I have a whole day to just do it slowly and don't waste too much solder. Yeah. Anyway, i got to put her hooks on, but i got to make them first. And then next thing you know, this whole thing will be handmade. That's Lauren's big ass Pam Greer hoops. I swear to God, that's got to be like three inches in diameter. But I showed her just the hoop today before I even curled the ends. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, I love it, I love it. You don't have to put anything on it. Well, I mean, if you were going to, it's okay. I'm like, Lauren, you can wear them. You may as well have it however you want. But I'm going to try and make the charms for it be able to come off really easy and I can get them on easy and I can get them off easy and it's not shit where's the first one I made it's anyway the first one was something similar to this where I would just roll stuff and you can just roll it on the earring no I didn't do that God gave me a different idea so <clears throat> I went that way okay there you go Lauren's earring thank God she doesn't usually watch my YouTube videos unless I send her the link so, Monica, you get the afro. I got the Pam Greer earrings. Uh, maybe we can find her little peace sign necklace. <laughs> Love you. Bye.